Recently, my name's changed to Bob the Builder because I realized with Next.js and Convex, I can truly build anything. Now, I'm not talking about rockets. If you plan on building and launching rockets, you probably have to learn Laravel. But for any web application from various ranges, if you're looking to build anything, Next.js and Convex is truly a great combo, and I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to convex.dev. Uh, the link will be in the description. I'm just going to click Get Started. Now, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know I'm working on an X clone. I'm working on a full tutorial. Been recording that. Probably one of the hardest videos I've been recording. Shout out to everybody who does those long form videos. But what we're going to do is I want to go to the docs. So let me just go to database queries and then quick starts and then next year. So we're just going to get quickly started. I'm going to install convex. I already have an XJS application set up, bare bones, not even my starter kit. Just to show you how easy this is, and then enter, that's installed, and then it wants me to run the convex dev deployment. I'll create a separate terminal here, run this command, and it's going to ask if I want to create a new project. Yes, I'll call it build anything. If you notice, a convex folder is created right here. We'd love to see that. Now it says I can create some sample data and push this data and then call this data. But I want us to jump ahead of all of that and we're just going to create this convex client provider. So we're going to copy that. I'm going to create a folder under, I'm going to create a folder called components, convex provider.tsx, uh, paste that there, perfect. And then it wants me to wrap my layout, my children in layout got you that's what i will do right now let's go to app layout and then let's find the children and wrap them with convex client provider yep that was the one that i just copy pasted perfect and now i can use convex but what i'm going to do is i want us to write out a schema let me just copy the schema over right this is going to be my database schema and I'm just going to create a file called schema.ts, paste my schema here. Now, when I hit save, you're going to see something happen. It's going to say some stuff happened. Let's go back to my dashboard. A new project popped up. And then if I click on tables, I have users and messages, which is exactly what the schema defines. This schema defines a message um, table with body and user as strings. And this is an ID and users is name and token identifier, which is a string, and you can index by token identifier. I'm going to remove the user schema. Okay, so I have this message schema set up. Why don't we build a simple chat app? I think that's the best way to show how you can literally build anything with Convex. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to React Hook Form because it's my favorite way of handling forms. I'm just gonna install React Hook Form. Let me do that in my terminal, but install react hook form. And then I am just going to copy this right here. Copy this use form, copy the use form import from react hook form. And then I'm just going to copy this, paste that here. And if I run my server, my dev deployment, and I go to localhost 3000, hopefully I have no other project running. Um, the reason why this is erring is because this should be a client component. No problems with that. We'll make that a client component and I'm going to go to global CSS and just remove all the black background. And we have this. So if my setup works, when I type mic and submit, um, it says this field is required. What field is this? Okay, so they both work, right? Because I get this console log. Now let's make this a bit prettier because this is terrible. It's a, de a decent looking submit form. Okay, so now if I do uh, mic and I hit enter, it console logs. Now what I want us to do is every time I write a message, I want this message to be stored in my table, in my message table. And in order to do that, I realize I have a schema where body is string and then users and user is an ID of user. I don't have any authentication set up, so I'm just going to name this message. And that's what we're going to have right here. But in order for me to write into the table, I'm going to need to use 
this right here. I'm going to need to create a mutation. And the way you write queries or mutations is you create them under the convex folder and they have this super clean API where you just call it within your components and it's all real time, which is fantastic. So I'm going to copy this mutation as an example. This is called tasks.ts, but we're going to call this message.ts and paste this here. I'm just going to say this is create message. This is a mutation. And this mutation takes an argument of message, which is a string, a value of string. And then you have a handler function that's async. You have the context and the argument. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to await the con context dot db dot insert into the messages table. Remember, our table is called, if I'm not correct, messages. So this needs to be messages as well. And we're going to enter a message and the argument is also message, right? And I spelled this wrong, of course, an extra S and everything's type safe, which is lovely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, message inserted. And what we're going to do is just return message inserted, right? And obviously this is a try, this is an async operation. So we're just gonna do try catch and we'll paste this here. And for now, we won't do anything crazy. We'll just throw an error and say it failed. All right, perfect. We have our mutation set up. Now, how do I call and I'll just any type this? How do I call my mutation within this component? And that's very simple. Let's go to the docs. So in order to call mutations from the client, I'm going to use the use mutation hook and I'm, I can call it within a handle click. So let's do that over here. I'm just going to copy this example. I'm going to pass this right here, and I'm going to import use mutation from convex and API is also imported from convex. But now here is where the convex API is just so buttery smooth. I click dot and I see messages and API essentially gets me access to this folder and dot message gets me access to this file. And if I click dot, it gets me access to the very mutation I wrote earlier, which is create message, right? I have access to that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it insert message, right? Perfect. And then what I can do is I can call it within the handle click here. And for me, it'd be the on submit and I can pass in the data, which I want inserted in my table. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to add some curly braces here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do insert message and the message we want to insert is data dot message. And that is, it. So now if I go to my table, I see no documents here. But then if I just put my app side by side, let's see if this works. Okay, I have an error. What is the error? All right, the error that I made was I should have set this as message, not messages. And then when I pass the message, it needs to be within an object because the argument is waiting for is a message. So I have to do message and then data Dot, uh, question mark dot message and this should work. So let's go type in Mike. Boom, instantly real time, which is what I love about convex, right? If I submit it, it's inserted right away. Now, this allows us to create um, a chat up very easily. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a simple, no authentication chat up. And I'm going to show you how fast it is to work with convex for us to have a chat up. We're going to have to read the messages, which means we're going to have to do a query. I'm just going to copy a simple example. So let me copy this. And then within messages right here, let me clear my VS code within messages right here. I'm going to paste another function. I already have the values import, but I have an import query, which is great. And what I'm going to do is I want to do a query of the messages table. So I'm going to do query messages, right? And what we are going to do is we're going to get the messages in order of descending and we could take the first hundred and that's pretty much it. Now, in terms of arguments, there aren't any arguments that are going to be passed because again, I don't have any authentication or any room IDs. I just want to easily show you how it is to set up an application, build an application or an MVP with Next.js and Convex. So we'll call this get messages, right? And our function is great. No errors in our Convex server. And then we're going to go back to page. And then what I want us to do is I want us to find 
how it is that we would read uh, queries. And the way we call queries from the client is as simple as using use query. This is almost familiar with tan stack query, which is great. So if you use tan stack query, this is pretty simple. I'm just going to copy this here, paste this. We're going to import use query. API has already been imported. We do dot, then message, then dot, get messages. Love that type safety. And then what we're going to do is just simply, let's just console log message data. I just want to see. Uh, how the data is structured. So we're going to allow that to console log. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my inspect element open, console open. Let's clear it here and let's do what's up. And it hit submit. That entered right away. And then message data is rendered as follow. I get my messages, creation time. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop over message data right here. We'll do message data dot map. Uh, we'll do messages, um, and then we'll have this be a p a p tag, and then we'll just do messages dot I believe message. Look at that type safety. That is what I love. A little gap between us. Okay, perfect. So I have my chat app here. If I do hi, welcome. And I want this to clear after every submit. So React hook form gives me, I believe it's reset, reset. And what I can do is after every submit on submit, I just call reset. And what that does is if I do welcome, hi, how are you? It just, it, it clears the form field, but look how fast and instant that is. Now, if I wanted to create again, a chat app, let me run a, another local host instance here. And I'll just split these two up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put these side by side. These they forgot to add a key here in my map. So what we're going to do is we're going to do key. Um, and then we're going to just do index just to make our lives easier. Index. So now I should have no errors. If I do, uh, if I refresh this here and I say, if I just submit stuff, look how fast and real time that is. So if I just set up some authentication, which Convex can allow you to do, or you can use something like Clerk, I can instantly and easily set up a chat up with just a few lines of code. Look how much code that took from the Convex side. This mutation, this query, uh, message.ts, which is just a few lines of code, and then a schema.ts, and I have the skeleton of a messaging app. I don't have to worry about web sockets. I don't have to worry about the real-time functionalities all working. It works out of the box with Convex, and this is why I'm super excited to be... Um, this is why I'm super excited for my X-Clone tutorial that's going to be dropping very soon. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I've been building out an X-Clone. And this would be very, very difficult without Convex. It already was difficult, but without Convex, it would be very, very difficult. Under Web Dev Cody talked about Convex so much, but here you have it. Just wanted to show you a simple example of how you can use Next.js and Convex and build anything. I have a couple of bangers on the way, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And gents and the three ladies that watch this channel, I will see you in the next video. Peace.